These participants, including activists and intellectuals, gathered at this Kampala hotel to seek solutions to the power struggle at Kampala Capital City Authority. The first hurdle many cited is the legal framework which separates the role of the executive director and the Lord Mayor. Because you cannot have such a law, which is so funny and contradicting. The problem in KCC is a problem of failure of leadership at all levels that we need to deal with. A commissioner in the local government, Patrick Mutawire, who participated in the drafting of the KCCA law, weighed in the debate. Now acting permanent secretary, Mutawire argues that the problem is the Lord Mayor's hunger for power. I think part of the problem which we hear in the city is a, a hangover from the former local government. However, Sulaiman Kidandala, whose appointment as deputy mayor has been contested, believes the problem is anchored in the way the KCCA law was framed. The confusion in here has been brought out by the PS very clearly. That they wanted to create a semblance between local government and something like that. So even them, they are not sure of what they were establishing in Kampala. How do you create a semblance of what? To govern what? Kidandala feels that the solution lies in achieving a balance between the political and technical wings of the city authority. And we are saying let us bring a balance between the political leaders, the views from the people, and then the authority, and then we run the institution. Madame Musi says, no, I have another power that gives me orders, right from the minister and then from the central government. I really don't want to bring it down to individuals. Let us put the politicians and technicians together. By the way, we have been doing it, and I hope it will... And as uh, I, I'm going to get my colleagues, Mr. Kidandala's contract. Regardless of all the accusations and counter accusations, the call here was the Kampala Affairs Minister to use that position and bring the two warring parties to dialogue for the good of Kampala residents who expect services. Hilara Esiga, NTV.